We've got kale, carrots, peppers. We've got a beautiful box of produce here grown in Manitoba, and much of it is grown in the winter in January, if you can believe it. Nathan Steele is the owner of MyFarmersMarket.com. Before we talk about the business, uh, where is a lot of this stuff grown? It's pretty incredible to think that this is grown in a January winter here in Manitoba. Right, yeah, well, we work with actually a good handful of uh, produce farmers. Um, some of these things like root vegetables and squashes are um, more of a winter storage item that were harvested in late fall uh, and will have uh, mostly through the winter as long as uh, the stock is there. Uh, the farmers bring that over to our warehouse and uh, some of those things actually um, like late seeded carrots and uh, the items that you're talking about specifically uh, grown in January, you can see those, those peppers there. Mm -hmm. We've got kale, we also have cucumbers, tomatoes tons of herbs and lettuces and that's all grown indoors in Steinbach actually by a gentleman named Hans mm -hmm. at God's Acres and um, he's doing some experimental things with some LED lights and it's kind of exciting but we're uh, we're lucky enough to be able to uh, to uh, help distribute that food here in Winnipeg. And we're going to be actually be out at God's Acres visiting Hans to see how it is grown later on in the show. Tell us about more about myfarmersmarket.com. How does it work? Um, I guess the business is structured on a courier model so we have our own trucks we have drivers and uh, it's a real convenient way to choose a delivery that suits your uh, schedule we show up in that two hour period and uh, with fresh food like this um, not just produce that we've got all five food groups so uh, it would just be like grocery shopping um, but uh, in an online sense so if you're used to shopping for shoes or jackets or anything online you can uh, do it just with a few clicks and have the food delivered to you are pretty cool. You started this business three years ago and there's been uh, increasing popularity for people to shop local and support local producers but also for convenience and your business marries the both of those so uh, tell us how your business has grown over the past three years. Um, yeah from the first year I guess I was um, doing a lot of even the deliveries myself um, and second year you know we've uh, we had a we had a, to add a few groups of staff and uh, this year we're, we're scrambling for more staff so it's been uh, got a couple trucks on the road uh, sometimes um, all day both trucks um, so it's really becoming something that it, it, I wasn't expecting actually it's it's heading in the in a great direction so I'm excited what's ahead a lot of your shelves here are stocked with stuff made in Manitoba same with your uh, freezer and fridge area as well but you also I mean carry stuff from out of province as well but you really like to know the story of the person behind the product why is it important for you to know that well, food is something that's going in our bodies, right? Mm -hmm. So it's super important for me to know where my food is coming from. Right. And I'm realizing that more people are very interested about uh, having a certainty about their the source of their food. Um, everything that we bring in here, if it's not, if I don't know the producer personally, and we don't know how they're producing their food, how they're growing their food, how they're treating their animals in their land, um, we bring in a certified organic product because uh, at least there's some things in places and some mandates that they have to meet and uh, they have inspectors and things. So that's why I trust organic, but, and I trust the producers that I've, that I've met personally. Should, you know, they've uh, given some insight exactly how they're growing their food without artificial fertilizers, without sprays, things like that. That's something that I can feel great about eating. And so that's what I really bring to the table and try to source here for our store. Right, well, later on the show, I'm going to get you to uh, show us a couple of those products and tell us the stories behind them. And we're also going to head out to Hans at uh, Farm God's Acres in Steinbeck to see where this kale right here is grown. So stick with us right here on Go.